staring out onto the horizon, I realize I'm right where I'm supposed to be. This is the end of my trip, but let me take you back to the beginning. One of my life dreams is to travel the entire world. That dream now includes purchasing properties in my favorite countries to live a global lifestyle. I started out in Sao Paulo to meet with an American expat and fellow YouTuber. We toured the city, broke bread, and had an awesome conversation about why he chose Brazil as his home. My next stop was a tour of the popular Copacabana region, highlighting tourist attractions and some alternative neighborhoods that would be perfect for creative types. On my way to today's focal point, I spent a few days in Cabo Frio, where I narrowed down an apartment in a town, as well as a beachfront property that I'm considering for my next project. I'm on the last leg of my trip and visiting a gem on Rio's coastline, the city of Buzios. If you feel inspired and want to learn how you can retire early and travel the world, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing. In this episode, we're going to visit properties in and around the luxurious town of Buzios, commonly referred to as the Santa Barbara of Rio de Janeiro. We'll check out some rentals, another beachfront property, and see what life is like in this beautiful tourist town. I'm on a mission to find another international property to call home. My name is Carl Pierre, and this is ENZP Life. To give you an idea of what to expect when booking accommodations in Buzios, let's tour my Airbnb. This four bedroom, three bathroom home is in a townhouse condominium development. The setting is tropical and features a common in-ground pool. On the inside, it's a bit dated, yet neat and can support a group of six easily. The first level has all the common spaces and of course, a barbecue pit. Let's check out the bedrooms upstairs. The bedrooms are large, most of them having their own bathrooms. The master has plenty of space, a bathroom, and is decorated with local artwork. Tucked away on the hills, a short walk to town, and the beach, this home is typical of Buzios. So what do you think of that home? Could you see yourself spending time there? I know it's more house than I needed for this trip, but I wanted to see what guests and future customers would expect for a vacation home that ran $100 a night. A house like this in the comparable town of Southampton, New York, would run $600 to $1,000 a night easily during summer months. I had a chance to chat with the property manager, and she advised that properties within that complex run around $300,000 US dollars. Based on the rental prices and the occupancy trends in the area, this house wouldn't be a good purchase for me, but I'll explain a little bit more on that later. My final thoughts on this Airbnb is that I would totally stay here again when visiting Buzios. You get so much for $100 a night. If you're interested in booking this place, check out the link for the property down below. Also, if you've never used Airbnb during your vacations, I have a link for you to set up an account. When you book, we both get an Airbnb credit, and it's a win-win for the two of us. After getting settled, my first stop was to check out a property in a developing section of Buzios, just outside the main part of town. The streets were unpaved, but it's clear to me that there's activity, and where there's activity, there's opportunity, but we'll see. This property is on a lot that has four two-bedroom, one-bathroom cottage-style homes. The house itself was renting for only 1,100 AIs, which equals about 200 bucks per month. It needs full furnishing, but for the price, it's awesome. My next stop was a fixer-upper a little further from Buzios, about halfway between Buzios and Cabo Frio. The construction and design is odd, and the neighborhood even less developed. The house had two bedrooms and two bathrooms, with what seems to be plans for an additional floor. The asking price of this property was only 40,000 US dollars, but the real draw for me was its location and the view. This stretch of beach has potential, which you just can't see due to the pending storm. The downside is the neglect. Here's another example of plastic's negative impact on beautiful landscapes. Heading back home for my midday nap, I got to drive around a bit and do some thinking. How does Buzios and its evolution fit into my overall strategy?
At this point, there's a lot to consider. I really like my Airbnb, but the price to income potential just isn't there. The rental property is actually more my speed and the idea of buying a plot of land, building a few cottages and waiting for appreciation in the area makes more sense. But the downside there again is the low rental income potential. The house on the beach was just too far off the beaten path and the debris on the beach was a major turnoff. The property is definitely off my list for consideration. But that's my opinion. What's yours? Which property would you lean towards and why? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I know what some of you might be thinking, what about the nightlife and the social scene? Well, let's check that out. The cobblestone streets of Bucios attracts Brazilians, of course, but for some strange reason, Argentinians in droves. The town caters to families and party goers. Unfortunately, we're in pandemic mode and it's a little more quiet this time around. You probably couldn't tell based on how many people were out enjoying each other and life itself. But this is a toned down night for sure. The nightclubs are closed for now and not many people are out. However, I still managed to catch some live music at a bar and an awesome dinner. I'm sure I'll be back when normal returns. I had to check out in the morning, but before leaving, I had one more stop to make. I needed to see the sunrise and spend just a few minutes on the beach before the crowds developed. I wanted one more chance to see what makes Bucio special. After a few minutes, my feelings match my thoughts. Bucio's is a place to find love or fuel its fire. A special place just far enough from the big city, but totally Brazilian at heart. Today, I made the sunrise. Tomorrow, I'll miss her. As always, I'm here to remind you that you too should be living your dreams. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, Priscilla.